Map with Miss B. Map with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching now. Okay, I'm not on the screen today because this is the last minute. We're just trying to get this video done, done, done. Um, so here I am. Uh, reference angles. This is a little tricky. Okay, so if trig is brand new, which it is for my students, I need you to pay close attention. Okay, so reference angles, find a positive angle less than 360 or 2 pi, draw an angle in standard position, find the reference angle, blah, 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 blah. What does this mean? First of all, you should take a picture of this. You're going to need to reference this little picture. Okay, a reference angle is an angle in quadrant number one. What color is that? Is it the blue one, the purple one, the pink one, or the orange one? If you said blue, you're correct. Okay, so a reference angle lies in quadrant number one. To find a reference angle, you need to look at which quadrant the angle that you are given is in. So let's say you're given an angle in the purple quadrant, quadrant number two. You would do 180 minus theta. Theta is the angle that they gave you, given to you. Okay, if you got an angle that was in quadrant number four, Four, so that's the orange quadrant. You would do 360 minus theta. Okay, and then the pink quadrant, 180 minus, uh, or excuse me, theta minus 180. And we'll talk about what that means. Okay, but take a picture of this. You're going to need this information. Screenshot, something. Okay, so find the reference angle. Okay, so I have 345 degrees. I need to find step number one, find what quadrant 345 is in. Is it in quadrant one, two, three, or four? If you said quadrant four, you're correct. Okay, so let's go back to our little reference sheet, right? Our reference sheet says in quadrant number four, I need to do 360 minus theta. So let's go back. 360 minus theta, so I'm gonna take 360 minus 345 345 is theta you see it up there 360 minus theta that's going to be 15 degrees the reference angle for 345 is 15 degrees boom that's your answer everything all of the no i'm not even gonna say that try the next one on your own pause the video pause the video Okay, hopefully you pause the video, okay? First of all, you need to ask yourself what quadrant is 210 in? Which quadrant is 210 in? Quadrant one, two, three, or four? If you said quadrant number three, you're correct. So in quadrant number three, what do we have to do to find theta? Go back to your little video. I mean, go back to your little reference. Quadrant number three is the pink quadrant. Theta minus 180. So we're gonna go back. blah 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 so that's the third quadrant you're gonna take theta minus 180 so theta is what number 210 good minus 180 and you're gonna get 30 degrees 30 degrees is a quadrant is a angle in quadrant one that's what we want we always want to find its reference angle in quadrant one and we'll talk about blah blah blah, blah later Okay, so um, you should do these two by yourself. So pause the video. Oh, these are negative degrees. You could do it though. Remember you go uh, counterclockwise for positive angles and clockwise for negative angles. You got it. Okay, so 135, what quadrant is that going to be in? Oh, where's my little picture? 
it's not coming up. <laughs> so, uh, one thirty five. Do I like that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, what we're going to do first is we're going to find the positive coterminal angle. Remember about coterminal angles? So I'm not interested in this little rinky-dink negative angle, 135, negative 135. So I'm going to add 360 to it, and I'm going to get positive 225 because those angles are coterminal. They end in the same place. So two, the angle 225 is a third quadrant angle. You see it? I drew it for you, okay, just for you. So it's a positive 225, we love to see it. So now I'm gonna decide where is 225? It's in quadrant three. And so using the quadrant three rule, which means I'm gonna do theta minus 180, I'm gonna get 45 degrees, so my reference angle is 45 degrees. That means all the properties of 45 degrees apply to 225. Okay, so now we're gonna do negative 240, so same thing applies. I want this angle to be it's co positive coterminal angle. So I'm gonna add 360 to it. I'm gonna get 120. And so 120 is second quadrant. Second quadrant tells me that I'm gonna do 180 minus theta. So 60 degrees. Boop. Yeah. Okay, so those are degrees, but y'all know, guess what? We have to do radians too. So let's say theta is five pi over six. Okay, five pi over six um, is gonna be in the second quadrant. How do I know that? I cheated, I probably turned it into degrees. <laughs> Uh, and then, and so in the uh, second quadrant, you want to do 180 minus the angle. In this case, pi minus the angle, right? Because we're using radians. So pi minus 5 pi over 6. You guess what? You definitely got to make some like denominators. So pi is 6 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6. So 6 minus 5 is 1 pi over 6. And that's my reference angle. Ta -da! So I rewrote my problem. Pi turned into 6 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6 stayed the same. I subtracted pi over 6 as my reference angle. Let's say you have 7 pi over 4. I need to find which quadrant it's in. Do I know what quadrant it's in just by looking at it? No. I'm probably going to change that to degrees so I can see what quadrant it's in. That's my, that's a little cheat sheet for you, okay? Anyway, so I figure out it's in quadrant three. Quadrant three tells me I need to do 360 minus the angle. So we're going to do two pi minus seven pi over four. But you know, two pi needs a denominator of four. Eight pi minus seven pi. Pi over four. Burr, burr, burr. All right. Last but not least, let's say it's the type of reference angle where there's no pi in it, but it's a radian. So 2.5 radians and 3.6 radians. Well, it's going to be the same thing. I need to find what quadrant it's going to go ahead and be in. Okay. So 2.5. How do I know 2.5 is in quadrant 2? I probably cheated and turned it into degrees. <laughs> but also, I know that quadrant number 1 is 0 to pi over 2. And then I know that quadrant 2 is pi over 2 to pi and pi is 3.14. So, um, and then pi over two 
is 3.14 divided by 2. So 2.5 has to be between uh, pi over 2 and pi. I know I just said a lot. Change it to degrees. Anyway, um, in that quadrant, you want to do 180 minus the angle or pi minus the angle. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So that's a 3.14 minus 2.5, approximately 0 0.64. 3.6 is in what quadrant? This is tricky, so I'm not going to tell you yet. I want you to try to see if you can figure it out yourself. So pause the video. Okay. It's in quadrant number three. Three point six minus pi, approximately zero point four six. Okay, I know this skill is funky, but it's gonna come in handy later. So just take it at face value. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why did that little thing come in now? Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm gonna stop the video here. The second half of the video is, nah.